that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command, handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? Whatever it was, I don't want to experience it again. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there, no matter what. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. I know those symbols. Githyanki runes. Ancient as Vlakith herself. You stole that from my people. Yes, 
and a lot of my people died in the process. I won't fail them. Not after what I saw your kind do to them. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the Chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. No doubt the Githyanki will seek to reclaim that which is theirs, but you still do not know what it even is. Trust me, I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. Just act. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Come back when that halfwit's done wailing and find out. His name is Wings. Absolute. Reckon it can fly to starve you and throw you that fat with Regulus crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. <laughs> you move on. Do what she says now. <clears throat> uh, now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours. Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw rags, Lynn. Draw rags, Lynn. Um, um, I am... Draw Ragslin! Um, um, 
Ventus Drorexlin. You broke him. Wait, wait. Drorexlin, we pay, we. Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Too fat. Dragons is fat and they fly fine. My name's Gribble, idiot. Right, yeah. Brave enough to take on our new chicken. It's a big one, but that's just more for the chasing. Hells, mate, it ain't difficult. You just gotta do it fast and gotta do it alone. Any simple, like I say, but not easy. Better contenders than you have been bested by that bird. No skin off my ass. Just remember, you had the chance to be a part of something grand, and you walked away. <laughs>